Hello everybody, what's up? Uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, for this video, we will be taking a look at another toy, another Transformers toy. This time, the Voyager class Starscream from Transformers Earthrise War for Cybertron Trilogy. Uh, this, I guess, was from the first wave? Yes. Um, the Seekers have been a bane to collectors here. Uh, Starscream here has been uh, a bit easy to ob obtain since it is a retail release. But the two packs, um, the Coneheads and the other Seeker, other Seeker pack, which, uh, which consists of Skywarp and Thundercracker, has been hard to come by. Uh, there are, of course, uh, available pieces, so for those diehard collectors, they can avail of those. But uh, it's a bit too rich for my taste. Uh, it's now selling for uh, 6,000 pesos. Um, that's like how many? 20, 30, 40, 60, like 60 dollars, like 60 dollars or more. So I'm um, still waiting if uh, Hasbro would re release the, the two packs or uh, hoping it hits retail here. Hoping, but not really. Not really, yes. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I wanted to take a look at the Seeker mold for Earthrise. I had uh, three Seekers from the Siege line, uh, Thunder, Cracker, uh, Starscream, and uh, uh, that, no, the other one is from the Netflix Transformers War for Cybertron trilogy line, Hot Link, Hot Link. And those were those, those were okay, and then uh, they did the same thing with the Dotson Bros. Uh, they re-released re the Seeker mold in Earthrise, and it's uh, an Earth mode aircraft, so people would want that more. Uh, it's more G1-ish, not the Cybertronian aircraft that uh, the Siege mold transformed into. So I wanted to take a look at it and. Um, the best way to do that was to buy with the most uh, widely available copy, which is this is the Deluxe Starscream, Deluxe Class Starscream. Um, I put it off buying this for quite a while. I, I was kind of thinking maybe I should just let it pass, but I found a um, reasonable copy at a reasonable price during the 1212 sale from one of the apps from the one of the shopping apps here so yeah I, I got Starscream and this is the figure that we'll be taking a look at today the box features uh, an artwork here it doesn't really look like Starscream does it I mean it bodies orange uh, it looks more orange than red, so it doesn't look a lot like Starscream. Uh, the back is a product shot of Starscream and uh, Battlemaster, which turns into a hammer, which is a re-release for Earthrise, but was also released during Siege. Uh, got some Chinese... Is this Chinese? Yes, Chinese uh, uh, stuff over the German and the Amer uh, and the English stuff here. Uh, I guess this is from Hong Kong, if I'm not mistaken. And at the side is that Earthrise promo artwork, which is used all throughout the Earthrise box packaging. So that's it for the packaging. Uh, of course, it features that nice display window. Uh, we will be taking... We will be saying goodbye to this product windows soon since uh, I've seen the Kingdom one and uh, I guess it's for the environment, uh, less plastic in their packaging. Uh, so we only see a sneak peek window about right here. So instead of getting about 6 inches or more or 8, 10 inches more of plastic, we, we get just a sliver, maybe 3 or 4 inches for the box and you could just see the head of the figure so anyway enough about the packaging let's take him out of the box and let's uh, take a look at the figure more closely here we have him outside of the box and it is a handsome figure blocky more blocky than his siege counterpart uh, 
more G, G1-ish. It evokes that G1 aesthetic. Um, more broad-shouldered, um, stouter figure. Uh, to compare him with his uh, Siege counterpart here, it, here it is. And you could already see uh, there's a vari there is a variation on the red. The red on this figure is actually painted on, uh, unlike this figure, which uses uh, plastic, red plastic as uh, for its red. So the it has a deeper red color. Uh, I guess that's from the paint. Um, also, the head is painted black. That's a nice glossy black. Uh, nice gunmetal face uh, the same with this one uh, but this head is just uh, plain black plastic with some uh, silver pickings for the detail on the side uh, it's not the same sculpt this one is much more simpler this one has more uh, tooling more details um, one thing that you would notice from this uh, that this figure does not have a waist swivel. That's one of the bigger, bigger, uh, bigger differences between the two. Uh, also, um, the siege mold for the seekers uh, have them uh, like have like their feet are like uh, on high heels, not really flat. Uh, the Earth Mode Seekers, Earth Rise Seekers here have their feet flat on the ground, which is nice. Also, uh, their shoulders, uh, the Earth Rise one has a sort of a butterfly joint, which allows it to move forward, to have, have their shoulders move forward. Um, that doesn't happen in the Earth Rise one, uh, but that is more for articulation. For that articulation is actually for transformation. And uh, the Earth Rise is more chunkier than the than the Siege mold. Uh, both of them look gr great, actually. Um, if I am asked for a preference, I do not have a preference. Uh, either or would do. But if you are leaning more on having um, a more G1-ish figure, especially with the alt mode, which is an earth, uh, earth-like, um, more, more familiar earth-like vehicle, the... Earthrise mold, of course, would uh, be better suited to your taste than uh, the Cybertron and Jet, which is uh, from the Siege mold. So, those are the difference. Uh, of course, the wings are also different. Uh, this is an Earth Jet, and this is a Cybertron Jet. Uh, you could already see that uh, this is a Tetra Jet, uh, the one that looks like a pyramid flying. Uh, the difference is when it when they are in robot mode. You could see here um, their wings, his wings, face towards the front, and the uh, undetailed one would be at the back. While our Earth, our siege mode, have them. You could see the back of the wings, which is usually hidden in front, and can actually flap like that this one also as well but uh, different okay. so articulation for the earth rise head is also on the ball joint it can uh, move can look down can look up uh, rotate 360 uh, move a bit sideways because of the ball joint you can have him move sideways Tilt sideways, I mean. For his shoulders, you could raise his hand sideways like so. And then you could rotate it. 
there is a bicep swivel here allows full rotation an elbow bend not that deep but it's okay there is no wrist articulation you cannot rotate that wrist it can move um, forward due to that hinge but I think that's for transformation as well uh, for the hips he can do the splits as much as that uh, if you move his uh, up and then it pops off you can move that tail uh, that skirt front skirt forward and you could raise his legs upward like so he has a, a slight thigh swivel which is uh, connected to that uh, joint in the hips as well uh, full yeah full full thigh swivel and then he has uh, knee bends you can see that up to there and like all earth rise and siege figures it features a substantial ankle tilt for posing figures uh, there is no uh, you could actually uh, point his toes downward but that's for transformation and that's for his articulation. He comes with two null rays. You could either place it on top of his shoulders like so. Or you could uh, place it here in the back of his. You could also have him hold it if you want. There are enough ports here. So if you want him to hold it, you could also put that one. But for the more traditional look, you could place them on his shoulders. Uh, details on the wing. Mm, it's okay. Uh, it's nice. and It's stampoed on. Not really painted. Where is it painted? I'm not sure. Um, nice um, Decepticon insignia here. Um, the blue is blue plastic it's not painted like uh, this one but uh, also hints of blue here which is picked by paint uh, very clean paint job on my copy um, the other parts of the blue are made out of blue plastic uh, i'm not sure if there is red plastic here um, i think this is just painted from yeah i think it's just painted from the gray one uh, their color, the gray color, is uh, a bit more whiter, a bit more lighter, more lighter than the Siege one. The Siege one has a more warm color. I don't know, not know if that's because of aging, or is it just a slightly more different hue uh, of gray? So, yeah, that's the star screen. Um, the back is clean. Uh, cable would be the jet nose cone and of course the the wings which are articulated to uh, fold like so or you could have in like this. Okay, so that's uh, the figure in robot mode. Um, like I said, it is a chunkier version of the Siege one. Uh, I'll bet more slightly less articulated but still articulated enough that you could have him post in have him post in uh, various poses that you would want him to uh, it suffers a bit from having no no waist rotation but uh, still it's more articulated than other starscream models uh, out there and it transforms so that's always a plus so let's have him let's transform him into his uh, jet mode and take a look at that as well okay so to transform him um, first we remove the null rays from his null ray blasters from his uh, shoulder raise his hand uh, flip this open raise his fist using that 
weird joint. Uh, it, this is on a double joint, double hinge. I mean, you push it forward, and then this part will go through this part so that it, yeah, compress that in, then close this one. Once that comp do the same thing on the other side, raise this one, flip this open, push this through the double hinge, uh, raise that fist so that space there, compress that tightly, then put it down like so. <laughs> now. this open okay now raise this part okay. all right extend that one uh, there is a hint there is a articulation there transforming so that you could rotate that align that and cover his head with the nose cone. Now collapse the hands inward. And there is, uh, if you can see, pegs there. There's a hole there. You peg that in. There. So that is secured. Now you have him in gear walk. <laughs> if you're familiar with robot tech. <laughs> Alright. Now to do his feet. Uh, what I do is I clip them together. Like so. Open this one, and you will collapse this entire thing inward. There is a extent there, and then flip that front skirt forward, fold his sheens, and so it's almost finished. Oh, yeah. There you go. Um, for his tail fin, for sorts, clip that there, and then do the other thing. Rotate. And flip this down. Yeah. And then his feet, close that. So now the last thing to do is rotate this part like so and then uh, clip this there we go do the other one as well and there you have him in his Jet mode. Uh, for his null ray blasters, you just place it under the wing. And there you have Starscream all transformed into his. Yeah, I haven't really flushed this. This, this one flushes quite well. This one doesn't. Uh, it's a very clean transformation, uh, very easy, quite different from the Tetra Jet, the Cybertron Tetra Jet transformation that we had with the Siege Mold, which is quite um, surprising. I thought it would be just a retool of the thing. But uh, transforms quite differently. 
Um, it's not that hard to do. It's not that complicated. Uh, of course, there is still some robot kibble uh, that is seen here, but that's, but that's uh, you could always expect that with jet transformers. Um, one thing now is you can't see his head or any of his parts. Only um, the shins and the hands are more uh, visible underneath. It's quite a clean transformation, actually. There are no landing gears. Um, I thought this one was, but this was just used for transformation. There is no uh, rolling wheel that you could use to, for his uh, landing gear or anything. Yeah. Uh, it's a nice uh, earth jet. Earth jet mode. See, I told you this doesn't really. Flush together uh, because this one popped off his wings, popped off when I was playing with it a while ago. So that doesn't really flush that well, but it's okay. Uh, you can see it's a nice um, size jet uh, for a Voyager size. For comparison to the Tetra jet, for the Siege Tetra jet, uh, you can see how long. Uh, the Earth Race one is as compared to the Tetrajet. You can see uh, maybe there's a good uh, two, three inches, uh, two inches. It is two inches longer than the Tetrajet. You can see that, and also um, about the same, um, same wingspan. Maybe a bit, uh, half an inch, half an inch wider, and uh, yeah, that's how they look together. Uh, uh, for details, uh, nice translucent cockpit there. Uh, they even detailed. Um, pilot's seat there uh, with uh, some uh, controls uh, not really that detailed but it's okay uh, cockpit does not open which is okay um, nice panels panel etchings on top so that it doesn't look that bare um, Thrusters um, look okay, blue, molded in blue plastic. Um, like I said, during its robot mode, uh, nice tampos there, detail, paint details, and uh, uh, Decepticon logo on his wings. Underneath, yes, like I said, you could see his... Uh, Robot bits, but that's okay. Uh, it's hidden quite good enough, so it's okay. And yeah, that's it. That's it for Starscream. Um, very nice um, modern rendition of, of the G1 Starscream. Of course, uh, now there are a lot of people who have different versions of Starscream as their version of Starscream. But this was the star scream that I grew up with, and this is the most recognizable star scream that I know. And um, this, the Earthrise figures continue to impress. This is an old figure, and there are a dozen or more other reviews out there. Thank you for taking your time for watching my view on the character and on the figure. Um, please do leave a like. Also, comment suggestions and questions. Type them down below. And if you could, please subscribe to the channel. Um, and if you do subscribe, please do click on that notification bell. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. Um, see you at the next videos.